They're some of the best backstories put on the big screen. It was an unexpected pleasure. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movie prequels. I need to know why! What did we do wrong? <laughs> for this list, we've excluded movies that are considered reboots. Number 10, Monsters University. I'm officially a college student! The magical world filled with creatively designed monsters and visuals first seen in Monsters, Inc. is given a new lease on life in this Disney Pixar film. We're gonna be real scarers! The best! <laughs> you betcha! <laughs> yeah! By taking us back to when Mike and Sully were studying to become scarers, the studio's first attempt at a prequel didn't only earn them rave reviews and over $700 million at the box office, but it once again delighted the young and young at heart. There's no one type of scarer. The best scarers use their differences to their advantage. Number 9. Prometheus. That's beautiful. <laughs> Though its filmmakers claim Prometheus isn't directly linked to the Alien franchise, the fact that it's set in the same world and takes place prior to those sci-fi flicks lands it here. <laughs> Thanks to a visually stunning design, top-notch special effects, and enthralling acting, the movie was one of the highest grossing films of 2012. <laughs> Its success reignited interest in Ridley Scott's vision of extraterrestrial creatures and spurred talks for a Prometheus sequel. Number 8. Red Dragon The, the pieces of mirror make their eyes look alive. He, he wanted an audience. After watching The Silence of the Lambs, Few people ever forget the terrifying Hannibal Lecter. I'll help you catch him, Clary. In Red Dragon, we're asked to delve into the mind of the serial killer psychiatrist before he meets Clarice Starling. No, I know I'm not smarter than you. Then how did you catch me? You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane. What follows is a thrilling story filled once more with horrific crimes and interesting characters that are bolstered by excellent acting and its creepy atmosphere. Number 7, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. I have the power to save the one you love. It may be the sixth movie to be released as part of the Star Wars saga, but it's set three years following the Clone Wars and is thus a prequel to George Lucas's epic space opera. Revenge of the Sith didn't only manage to surpass the mixed reviews of Episodes 1 and 2 to earn many critics and fans praise, but was also the highest grossing film of 2005. The Jedi are no more. Not if anything to say about it. I am. Number six, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. He says they stole their children. Though it'll never compare to Raiders of the Lost Ark, there's no denying that the second film in the Indiana Jones franchise is a creative and strong entry into the world of prequels. <laughs> With a bit of a darker tone, the Temple of Doom still serves up a lot of the fantasy adventure elements we've come to love from indie flicks. <laughs> it's also got fun, humor, and Harrison Ford's undeniable star power. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. Number five, the good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> Since a fistful of dollars and for a few dollars more take place after the Civil War, The Good, the Bad and the Ugly is considered a prequel in the Sergio Leone-directed Dollars Trilogy. There are two kinds of people in the world, my friend. Those with a rope around their neck and the people who have the job of doing the cutting. Listen, the neck at the end of the rope is mine. You may run the risks, my friend, but I do the cutting. 
following the man with no name as he competes against other gunslingers to find buried treasure. This epic spaghetti western initially faced mixed reviews, but today it's one of the most popular films of the genre and one of its best. Number 4. Rise of the Planet of the Apes Come here. It's like he's thinking or something. Though some consider it a reboot, director Rupert Wyatt previously implied in interviews that Rise of the Planet of the Apes is also a prequel to the 1968 film. Thanks to Wyatt's directing, Andy Serkis's portrayal of the highly intelligent chimp Caesar and Oscar-nominated visual effects, it was one of the summer's most fun and entertaining flicks, as well as a box office success. Number 3. The Godfather Part 2 Since this gangster film jumps back and forth between time periods, it's considered both a prequel and a sequel to Francis Ford Coppola's 1972 crime epic. I know it was you, Fredo. You broke my heart. Whichever way you categorize it, there's no denying it's a cinema classic. Though the main storyline revolves around Michael Corleone, it's the narrative following Robert De Niro's Oscar-winning portrayal of Vito Corleone that lands the film here. <laughs> Number 2. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey Can I help you? That remains to be seen. I'm looking for someone to share in an adventure. Considering the massive success of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, director Peter Jackson knew he needed to live up to high expectations. Fortunately, his epic fantasy adventure met them and then some. It earned more than what the last two films of his previous trilogy grossed at the box office upwards of one billion dollars. Filled with incredible visuals and sweeping cinematic imagery, it's a spectacular introduction to Middle Earth. If Baggins loses, we eat it whole. Fair enough. Number one, X-Men First Class. I want to be called Mystique. Damn, I wanted to be called Mystique. <laughs> Well, tough. I called it. Whoa. Whoa! Following the mixed reviews of X-Men The Last Stand, this prequel to the X-Men series was so fresh and so good, it earned over $300 million around the world. What is that? <gasps> Set mostly in the early 1960s, this superhero film followed Professor X and Magneto's early friendship and pleased critics along the way with its style, strong cast, and special effects. It also reinvigorated fans' passions for the Marvel characters and paved the way for a highly anticipated 2014 sequel. Don't you see? This is who you were meant to be. Do you agree with our list? This is not my idea of a swell time! What do you think is the best movie prequel? I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz! Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Imagine what you would do, well, if you could go back in time.